I'd had 12 hours of watching my little guy running around the pitch, scoring goals, generally being a rock star, and had topped it off by winning the Champions League. What a day. So why did I feel so bad? You know, my FIFA 2017 antics aside, have you ever wondered why staring at a computer screen for hours on end makes you feel so bad? Or why sitting under crappy office strip lighting can drain your energy so effectively? Hi, it's Sam here from Tantrum. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you improve your kite surfing when you're off the water. So if you're looking to make massive leaps forward in your kiting, even if you don't get out that much on the water, make sure to subscribe below and click the bell to receive notifications whenever I release a new video. Think of your energy systems as a battery, much like it's often represented in a computer game. Now it's vital to keep this battery charged at 100%. As soon as the battery's charge starts to drop, systems which are essential for a full and happy, high performance life start to switch off. And if you're trying to kite surf lots, losing any one of these systems will have a massive impact on your ability to do so effectively. But what drains the battery? Well, in essence, anything which causes us to expend energy on anything other than providing power to these systems. Let me give you a few examples. When you eat food containing a lot of toxins, like most processed foods, your liver has to neutralise these toxins fast. The last, things you the last thing you want are active toxins bouncing around your bloodstream, causing havoc all over the body. So these are all rounded up and shipped to the liver so it can neutralise them, converting them into a harmless form which can then be firmly escorted out of the body. Now this process takes energy. Lots of energy. Energy which could have been used to power your prefrontal cortex, your muscular regeneration, your libido, your next kite surfing session. Your body's designed to operate in natural daylight. Working under artificial lights all day or playing FIFA all day, staring at a computer screen, neither of which are the same wavelength as light from that big ball of fire in the sky. This actually forces our brain to work harder to process the information coming in, which again costs energy. Getting shouted at by your boss or your spouse puts you straight into fight or flight, releases cortisol and adrenaline and massively raises energy expenditure as you prepare for, to struggle for your life. So your brain doesn't know that this isn't a life-threatening situation, but it responds as if it is, which again diverts energy away from more interesting systems. Now I don't know about you, but I don't want energy I could be using to spend more time ripping it up on the water being frittered away dealing with junk light or eliminating toxins or calming my fight or flight response. I'd rather be using it to do the things I love to do and feel awesome whilst I'm doing them. So the first step in upgrading your kite surfing and your life for optimum performance is to identify and eliminate the hundreds of micro stressors which are leaching energy away from your critical systems. For a lot of people, just by doing this, they can turn their life around 100%. And notice a huge difference on the water and across all walks of life. Now, one of the best ways to start to do this is covered in a free report I've put together, which reveals a little known secret used by elite athletes, NASA astronauts, special forces, which shows you how you can rip harder, jump higher and progress faster. You can find the link in the description below or it should be popping up somewhere around the video here. Right, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please do the usual YouTube vid jazz. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys.